Hi, my name is Sean Lonergan, and I'm a partner with Hyfossi Financial Group here in Tampa, Florida. What you'll see through video tutorials and literature pieces on our website is basically generalized information on some of the topics we cover. Today we're going to talk about grasping the concepts of your 457 plan. Now many individuals through employer-sponsored retirement plans are offered 401ks, 403bs, but because it's not talked about as much, 457 plans kind of go by the wayside. Now, 457 plan is an employer-sponsored retirement plan, and it is very much like a 401k or 403b. 401k being it's for private structures, 403b being for public. 457 plans are designated to city, state, and government employees. Now, as, as those employees will know, sometimes you're offered a pension plan. And while that's good and great, and the fact that there's security because there's income coming in for retirement, there's no guarantee that that pension plan alone will fund a company retirement. So a safe alternative for those city, state, and government employees is what's called a 457 plan. Now, just like anything else in life, at work, um, even in retirement, there's ups and there's downs. There's positives and there's negatives. Um, so we're going to kind of talk about the basics of that 457 plan. It is on the qualified side. Now, that means it's pre-tax. So your money is going in tax-free. You can dump a, a lump sum in. You can contribute to it. And that money's not being taxed until you take it out at the end. Another... Uh, so we'll go ahead and list the pros and the fact that it is tax deductible. Another pro is that it's, it's tax deferred growth. So that power of compound interest that you'll see in other videos on the website, that's what this is doing. It has tax deferred growth, so your money is accumulating and compounding on, on each other year after year without taxes being taken out. So it's allowing to grow without having to start over after taxes taken out one by one. There are no early withdrawal penalties. So for the police officers, for the firefighters, um, any other government, city, state employees, if they want to retire early, you know, if, if you're a firefighter and you don't want to run upstairs at the age of 65 to go pull a lady from a house, um, understandable, and you want to retire when you're 40, 45, you can go ahead and take that money. And there's no 59 and a half rule, which also you'll learn about through these videos. 59 and a half rules, if you, if in certain uh, occupations, if you take any money um, from that 401k, 403b, 457 plan before age 59 and a half, you get hit with a 10% penalty. Um, and there is no minimum retirement age, like I said. Now, like I said, there are other, you know, there are ups and downs to everything, so there are cons. Now, on the other side, because it was not taxed on the way in, it's fully taxable on the way out. And we're here. Just about 2012, tax brackets are very low right now. People retiring here in the future are going to be fa possibly faced with higher tax brackets. So it is fully taxable on the way out. Um, and the investment option, just like a 401k or 403b, are limited by the employer. So there's only a, there's limited funds that you're able to invest in. Now, like I said, through the website, through the video tutorials, it is a generalized, generalized information that we provide on the topics that we cover. Remember, your situation is different from everyone else's in regards to your family, your occupation, and your goals. To get help with your specific situation, give us a shout. We'll be able to mold a plan to fit your specific needs. Once again, my name is Sean Lonergan, and I thank you for watching this video.